Green invaders kill our native plants. We can't let that happen to chance. Those vines, trees, and weeds start out as just seeds. Before you know it, they're grabbing your pants. The earth is a sort of balancing act. Every living thing builds on and depends on a variety of other living things. This variety is called biodiversity. When a species becomes extinct, that means it can no longer fit into the balance, and it's gone forever. Species used to become extinct once every million years or so. But now, because of modern transportation, people have speeded things up by moving species all around the world. The plants and creatures don't have time to adjust to each other. Some turn out to be bullies. And consequently, hundreds of species are lost every few years. Why is this happening? Anne Gill of the Southwest Piedmont Weed Team teaches children about invasive plants at her home. Imagine you're out of control, but you're also a plant. How could you be both? Putting poison in the soil, killing. Making too much shade so other plants can't get any sun. We're going to learn a lot more about this today. Our gardens run over with kudzu. It covered up mice when you said and bike too. When it started out going, we had no way of knowing just what this awful vine could do. You've probably heard of kudzu. Now that's a plant that definitely doesn't play by the rules. This stake was put in the ground three days ago. Since that time, the kudzu has grown three feet. By the end of the week, it'll be all the way to the ground, and soon this entire area will be covered. In the United States, kudzu covers seven million acres. That's the equivalent of Maryland and Delaware together. You can see that's quite a problem. Now the way the invasive plant problem happens is really quite interesting because most of the plants that are invasive here in the eastern United States came from eastern Asia where there is a very similar climate. Now when you take a plant from its area of origin, like taking a plant from East Asia and bringing it to eastern United States, that plant leaves behind its uh, pests and pathogens and things that keep it in check. So when it comes here, it has a tendency to proliferate. And this proliferation damages the environment and alters the biological diversity, and we are left with a changed world. When ivy takes over your yard, your native plants get hit so hard. They get poisoned and strangled, their root systems mangled. This ivy sure needs to get barred. Different plants invade in different ways. English ivy smothers other plants on the ground, but it causes the most trouble when it climbs up trees. Not only does it kill the trees, but when it climbs trees, it makes seeds, and those seeds spread everywhere. This plant is invasive, and its name is Iliagnus, and it's took over this whole area. And birds come in and they eat it and they fly away and poop the seeds and that's how it gets moved around and it's the only thing growing here so that's why they eat it and that's how the seeds get moved around. That's why they're called green invaders. And this is another plant that's invasive. It's Japanese honeysuckle. Everybody see the seeds coming on? So it makes seeds that get eaten by birds also. Green invaders can be hard to spot. To most people, they look like any other plant. So now that we've identified some of the plants, let's mark them so that we can see how many there are. Okay, let's get the paint. Japanese stilt grass. Celiagnus. Kudzu. Present. Japanese honeysuckle. English ivy. So what do y'all think? Cool. Oh. Oh. I didn't think there would be so much. When you properly identify them, it's kind of amazing how many there are, aren't there? Once green invaders take hold, it's difficult, but not impossible, to get rid of them. The best way to control invasive plants is very simple. Teach people so they don't buy them. Hi, I'm Anton, and we're doing a documentary on invasive plants. Do you know what that is? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Would you like to know? Sure. 
invasive like I am? Uh, no. I knew it in seventh grade. No, I don't. From the plant kingdom, or are we talking a spy? Do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know what an invasive plant is? No, I don't. No. No. Do you know what an invasive plant is? My wife plants plants in my garden, and they take over everything, and they just go on and on, and after a while, the whole garden's just infested with it. <laughs> Am I going to be on TV? There's a well-known ecologist by the name of Edward O. Wilson who has pointed out that the greatest threat to biodiversity outside of habitat destruction are invasive species. Now, no one knows how much biological diversity is needed to maintain food chains and food webs for, healthy, uh, for a healthy balance of nature, but when we do find out, it might be too late. Now, this problem is so serious that the president, uh, President Clinton, created the Invasive Species Council that works with all 50 states to help control invasive species. Now, we at the North Carolina Botanical Garden are part of this huge effort, and we need your help, too. We can all pull together to help nature restore itself. One place where they're pulling together to tackle the invasive plant problem is Selwyn Elementary School in Charlotte, North Carolina. A nature trail behind the school has served as a sort of outdoor classroom since the 1960s. But the trail is vulnerable. In its small world, we see the damage caused by development, as well as signs of struggle with pollution. But the greatest threat to the trail has been from invasive plants. There was an old man named Michael Finnegan, pulled up some weeds, but they just grew in again and kept on pulling because he knew he'd win again. Good old Michael Finnegan begin again. At Selwyn, they've learned that people can make a difference. Organized weed roundups prevent green invaders from completely taking over and give native plants a chance to return. The families here at Selwyn Elementary have worked really hard to pull the invasive plants out of this area. It was overrun with mimosa, honeysuckle, and ivy, but they caught it just in time. Now there's a rich variety of trees, shrubs, and wildflowers growing here. As well as the mammals, reptiles, and insects that use the native plants for food and shelter. It's important to blast these invasive plants all year long. Because one clean out just won't fix it. You have to keep at it. Keep, keep on pulling. More and more plant species become extinct every year. We are losing our diversity. Our lives depend on this in ways we can't even start to understand. But you can do something about it. Just begin.